Hello everybody and welcome to another two minute factorio tips with me Scruffy Joe and today uh, I wanted to touch on chemical works, uh, oil refinery and all of that good stuff. Um, now this is fairly complicated, it basically you start off you do things with iron and you do things with copper and you get coal and all that kind of stuff and, and the beginning part of the game is all about manipulating those few elements. And then you suddenly get to this point where you introduce oil, crude oil, um, and then almost immediately you get a sort of a more advanced version of dealing with crude oil. And, and that's what I want to show you now, because it, it is a bit complicated. Um, so in the basic elements, this is an oil refinery right here. Um, when you have the advanced recipe, you need to have a source of water and a source of crude oil. Um, and that puts out heavy oil, which is the orange stuff, light oil, which is the yellow stuff, and petroleum, which is the fuel, which is basically the end product that you actually kind of use most of. Um, so this is kind of how you set it up. You, you will need, once you, you'll find an oil field, you'll put a load of oil derricks on that. So you'll bring in all of that oil along that one pipe, um, and then you'll find a handy nearby source of water, which for me is somewhere up here, uh, there it is, uh, and then you basically just connect the two and, and so they, you get your oil coming in and you get your water coming in and you have to do some clever underground overground bits and if you don't do the clever underground overground bits you can't walk through the gaps, it's a bit tricky even with the underground over bits but that's how you plumb it in. And this is how you plumb it out. It's even slightly more complicated. So I'm just going to leave this on the screen for a second because it's it's got to go somewhere, right? And it, and it needs to not clash with itself because it's with pipes, you put a pipe and a pipe and a pipe, that's great. You make a T-junction, that's fine. You kind of make it into a sort of an H shape, that's absolutely fine as well. The second you do that, you end up with a mess. Um, and the thing with oil and liquids in this game is that they cannot mix in a pipe that basically just ruins everything and you have to delete it all and start again so you can't simply go there's one there's two because it links so you know don't do that oh so uh, that's why they all look so complicated like this and that's why they uh, end up in quite such a mess now the next point, the most important point with this, is that you need 20 of these. Uh, and the reason you need 20 of these is for the way that this comes out and the numbers that comes out here. You then have a perfect cracking ratio, which if we come down here I will show you the next part. Ignore all the buildings to the left and the right. We're solely looking at these three columns. Um, so all of my outputs, my, my heavy oil, that goes into these three buildings here heavy oil plus water and you can crack that into light oil okay you're gonna see this kind of flows through it's kind of cool then you take your light oil the firstly the light oil that the, the chemical plants were making the oil refineries are putting out and then you add that light oil to this light oil and then you make 15 more of these chemical plants and they crack light oil into petroleum okay so that's three heavy 15 light and then as a kind of a, a an end you get lubricant which is where you take some remaining heavy oil not from this pipe but from the, the first lot that you were using and you crack that into lubricant and so 20 chemical plants three heavy oil cracking to light 15 light oil cracking to petroleum four heavy oil cracking to lubricant and then everything gets used and you don't end up with suddenly everything breaking because this is the important point. When you run out of storage for one type of oil, the other two stop being produced. I mean, it makes perfect sense if you think about it. If you're, you're getting this stuff out of crude oil, if you suddenly can't get rid of all of the stuff, then there's no point putting any more crude oil in and it, the whole thing just stops working. So this 3 to 15 to 4... That's the golden ratio. 20 oil refineries, 3, 15, 4. Done. It's the most useful thing I think I've ever told you on this series. 
Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you solve the game and fire that rocket into space. I mean, I know it will. Uh, I'm going to bring back um, some more of these very soon, covering all of the various other stuff that you get out of your oil refineries uh, and how to make it. And you can sort of see some of those on the edge of the screen, but we'll talk about those in a future episode. Until then, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.